Welcome to how to set up reconciliation rules in Remedy Force CMDB. Before on creating a reconciliation rule, it is important to mention that rules can be created for the following purposes. Merge information from different data sources, avoid duplication of information, and also, as a side note, a reconciliation does not address existing duplicate records within your CMDB. It handles any incoming records once reconciliation is enabled. A rule is defined and activated. That said, let's proceed on creating a reconciliation rule. We log in into Remedy Force. We go to the Remedy Force Administration tab. Click on Configure CMDB 2.0 Reconciliation Rules. And here we click the New button. Give your rule a name. Printer serial will be mine. Set the CMDB class type. I will leave it as CI and enter the class name for which the rule will be applied. For this demo, I will go with printer. Then we need to select the attributes that are supposed to be unique. This will help us on preventing on duplicating the data. I will pick serial number, asset number, and token ID. Then we enter the filter logic and we click save. We make sure our rule is active and finally we enable the reconciliation service. Once you have your rules defined, you can start importing or merging your data. I have prepared an Excel file which I will upload with data loader. In this file I have two records, one that will match an existing record and another one that doesn't exist in the org yet. Let's take a look on the existing record on the CMDB. As we can see here, the instance name is Xerox 6500, description is Xerox all-in-one 6500 and it has its serial number. Now, back in the spreadsheet, the name description is a bit different but the serial number is the same one. With our rule enabled, we won't create a second record and the non-matching fields will be updated. For the second record, since there are non-matching fields, it will simply create the record at our CNDB. Time to proceed with data loader. Open your data loader, click insert, select the base element object on your file, Map your columns into the fields. We click Next and Finish. The import is done and now let's take a look at our CMDB. We refresh the window. And here we go. Our record that matched the serial number was correctly updated as per our Excel file and the non-existing record was successfully added. Thank you for watching how to create reconciliation rules in CMDB.